Hello guys, in this practical video, I will guide you for plinth beam details with RCC column steel reinforcement. Let's get started guys. This is two-story educational building and you can see the plinth level for this building which height is 6 feet. From the road level, the plinth level height is above from the ground level especially from the road level which is 2 feet. You can see the depth of this plinth beam is 18 inches width is 12 inches. If you see guys this is RCC column size is 12 by 12 inches. And you can see clearly we have 8 numbers of steel rods dia is 16 millimeter. If you see the lateral ties dia is 10 millimeter with the spacing of 100 mm or 4 inches. Hooks you can see which are bent on 135 degree with the length of minimum 3 inches. That is other column. The span between two columns is here at this place specially which is 12 feet. The design is same, size is same. Inside this we have 4 numbers of steel rods at the bottom two middle bars are crank bar which are crank at the distance of L by 4 and two numbers of bars at the top portion of this beam. Guys you can see that is other column. The design steel reinforcement is same but the length is 14 feet here. Now the beam is ready. You can see it's shuttering. They removed before two days. Now this is at skewering time, but they started before two days at skewering because when they completed after 24 hours, they started at skewering. The minimum span is here, eight feet and the maximum span is here. 16 feet for this building guys you can see now i am on the road side here that is the corner column on the other side guys you can see this is the plinth level which height is two feet from the road level on the top of this they will make shuttering specially for plinth beam and the design steel reinforcement size of plinth beam etc is same but guys, you can see in plinth level, they used 13 inches thickness of brick masonry from the below level of this project, guys, you can see.